Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragons back and welcome all of you to another part of mm, MMO Month Dragon Saga. So, we still have things to do in here, but since it's not a main quest, we're gonna jump through this real nice and real quick. Why are you still alive? Die. You all should die. Boom. And goodbye to the rest of you as well. Don't care, level up, wonderful, wonderful. And death to all of you. You ain't nothing against my hammer. So now that we've dealt with those quests, let's go back and tell them that we've done it. Also, we still have that one level up that now no longer is showing up. So let's get ourselves a new hammer. What do you think? And let's also upgrade that because I want to have the other hammer as well. But now we also have a blazing youth? Blazing youth? Well, what it is this? It's another hammer! Hello, my dear friend, how are you doing? Yes, that's the thing I was looking for. Now, this winter won't be that cold for me. Now, I have a treat in return. I hope simple crafting can help you advance. Clicks. Click simple crafting to learn the skill. I will, thank you. We have something else from you. Once learned, keep using the skill. Well, skill. Well, I should give you a chance to try the new skill you just learned. I bet you want to try simple crafting right away. Yeah, well, okay. It's not that hard. You can just make something using simple crafting. Here, I'm giving you an ingredient for simple crafting to make a portable armor kit. In order to create a portable armor kit, double click ingredient for simple crafting. See a pop up and click it again. Once done, you can hand over the portable armor kit you created. So you can tell how well you have improved. Well, what that means is, wow, we have a lot of things. Let's, okay, we already have that, but let's equip that. And the rest is not for us. Whatever. Well, we got this instant process simple book let's right click it let's also right click that back here so we can get the things from it we can also right click that oh we got a gala coin nice gonna save that up so now in here we have ingredient for simple crafting we're gonna right click that as well oh sorry double click that not right click and now all we have to do is press space but that was horrible but we have to just press space at the right time and that's that. Let's talk to you again. Haha, <laughs> excellent. You created a portable armor kit successfully. Do you want to do part-time work here for me? Hmm. You don't? Too bad. I believe you can be a great blacksmith after me. Well, thank you. I I was told I am the hero who saves this land, so therefore I don't think I have the time to be a blacksmith apprentice. But thanks for the option there. Hey buddy, we also have things for you. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Now we can cook the rest. As I have you seen your passion, I shall give you a reward. I'll teach you the instant cooking skill that will help you a lot. Just click the skill I gave you and you can learn it. Okay. I am starving. Before I teach you, would you cook me something using your skill? Please do me this favor. Okay, I will do. Haha, <laughs> I knew you were a generous person. Of course, I'll provide you ingredients for my dish. Here, take this ingredient for instant cooking. You can use the ingredient for instant cooking to cook a portable snack for me. Now, I'll explain to you how you can cook a portable snack. Okay, it's the same thing, so I'm gonna jump over. Try it yourself. Gonna jump over that. We don't get a book. No, we do get a book. Interesting. Last time I didn't get a book and it still worked. So, ingredient for simple cooking. I always do the wrong thing. Double click and boom. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. We created a great dish. Ha <laughs> ha. You brought portable snack. I knew you would be marvelous chef like I am. But don't open your restaurant next to mine. Don't start competing against me. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, I would never compete against someone like you. Okay, we have one more main quest that's in this area. So let's go over there and get that main quest for us. 
What brought you here? I'm Soulcraft Merchant Julie. Pardon me? You want to know how to extract magic force? <sighs> Extracting magic force is a secret skill I learned from my grandpa. Pretty please? Extracting magic force is a useful and unique skill, and my grandpa wanted to keep it between him and me. But grandpa did not say that it must not be shared with others. Once you pay for the price, the skill can be shared. Let's say I'll share extract the magic force skill in exchange for one soul. So, soul can be obtained when you disassemble equipment. So, and this is where this comes in. We're gonna do disassembling and we're gonna have to see. Yes, we wanna disassemble that and that's for a warrior, so we're gonna keep that. But that's for a magician that doesn't have any magic in it and so the other one also so I can't just sell them but we still got one soul out of a thing so let's talk to you again oh you brought souls since it was a deal between you and I I shall share how to extract magic force click extract the magic force that I give you and you learn it easy peasy let's do that what do you say I sure you can use it my grandpa always told me to check your understanding before the start work. Well, would you test it if you would you test if you can use extracting magic force without difficulties first? Let's see. Now listen carefully. This is very, very tricky. What you have to do is to make a portable magic book. Double click the ingredient to see the pop up window and click it again to make a portable magic book. Once you bring me a portable magic book Blah blah blah. It's the same thing that we had before. We have the ingredient here, boom. And then we do double click here. And then... Spacebar! I don't know why I'm concerning myself with getting it perfectly since we're gonna have to give it away anyway. Hmm, as I have expected, Portable Magic Book has been successfully created. Now I can tell my grandpa that I have a customer today as well. Thank you always. You're welcome. And I thank you always for giving me this fine level up. So, I wanna upgrade the hammer that we have and I also wanna go over there. So now my hammer is stronger. And all we have to do now is in the advanced windier planes. I at least think so. Ah, we have one more quest in here. Where did we go? Traders Ridge? I'm just gonna accept it but we're not gonna go to Traders Ridge yet. Let's go to the advanced windier planes and proceed with the smelly wolf claw. Since that is our next main quest, real main quest at that actually. Because the others were more, um, not the basic stuff. Okay, now we are in the advanced Vindia planes and as you can see in later areas there are actually enemies around in the fields. And if we defeat those enemies, the little counter that we have down there with the treasure chest goes up so if we get to 100 we get a treasure chest and that goes up to a thousand I think so once we have 1000 kills it will reset itself to 100 again so let's complete your quest thank you you don't have anything else for me well whatever me just a traders rich well we don't want to go there yet we don't care about that so let's do the smelly wolf claws F1 so, this is now a new area, but it kind of looks the same, but the enemies are stronger, so therefore it will be a bit more difficult. I love the blazing youth hammer because it sets enemies on fire, so that's good. More wolves, we want to defeat them and kill all the spiders. Pesky little annoyances. We have a new big bad wolf, it's the Vegas Elite. And he also is sleepy. Let's get rid of some of those annoying amber wolves first. And we also have something that I'd like to call something like a general. Because it's not a boss, uh, not a mid boss, but just like an elite unit that is actually. But actually not an elite unit because the big ones are already, already elites. Stupid big bad wolf. Did it. And we also got a medal for that. And thanks for all your treasures. I will cherish them forever. 
So now that we've done this, down here is another main quest event. What? You found evidence? Uh, what good news? I'm more like a test type of guy rather than a running around looking for clues by myself kind of guy. Uh, thank you. I've taken care of this area for a long time, so I can take a look at the dirt cake at the dirt cakes on the claws and estimate their movements. Can you wait a few minutes while I analyze this? Sure, no problem, we can wait. Are you done yet? It may take some time to analyze the sample. Perhaps you can scout the way for us. Yeah, sure, can do that. Good decision. It would have been boring just to wait around. Just think of it as a training exercise and scout the movements of the wolves and come back. There are basically four ways. I should be done with the sample by the time you, you're back from riding off the wolves in the Advanced Vineyard Plains Arcade Mode 1. Yeah, well I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna do that real good. Hey buddy, I'm back to punch you in a butt. In your freaking wolfy butt. It feels like there's no music, thanks for the level up also. We have another skill point that we can give away, so let's do that. And also boost that one up. That one needs one more level up, one more upgrade, not level up. And then we're good. But we're gonna see what Parker has to say in the next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a comment down below. I really would appreciate that. I hope to see all of you to the next part of Dragon Saga. Bye!